the pool grain page number 71 till 74 okay so just open up those pages in your book the cruel grain okay you have seen that you can see it in the picture here there's a picture here you can first on the first page on page number 71 see this this is the pond where the fishes are living okay you can see the lotus okay all the lotus are there okay then come to page number 73 see this is a crane page number 73 this is a crane and you can see the lotus also there and the fish is also there okay and uh, this is cruel crane means cruel means zalim okay means that uh, crane has is having no mercy on the fishes and it uh, you know it is the eats the fishes now come to, okay now page number 71 till 72 okay these are the words meaning here you have to underline these words meaning here on these pages okay um the on the first line is spirit okay spirit means soul you can see it on your screen the meaning is written here the soul okay then willow willow is a kind of tree okay and lotus there is lotus also it is a kind of uh, tropical water lily it is a kind of water lily okay then is pond you know the meaning of pond okay see on the screen the meaning and please also underline these words there okay a small body of still water formed naturally or artificially okay then creatures means animals okay then you have to turn the page and you have to come to the next page okay see on the next page this word cruel cruel is the on the first line cruel okay cruel means causing pain or suffering or extremely unkind or unpleasant okay a person who is very uh, unkind and unpleasant and heartless means see the meaning of heartless there you have to underline the word here and see the heartless meaning on the screen displaying a lack of feelings means that person is feeling less that person doesn't have any feeling for anyone like um, any heartless means jaise aap keh sakte hain ke jiske andar feeling na ho kisi ke liye care ki okay they don't have the feeling of care or any th like th thing like that okay then there is a word outwit leave one line the next line is outwit outwit means get the advantage by using clever trick means by using some clever tricks you get the advantage of the other person okay kisi ka fayda uthana okay outwit means us kisi ka fayda uthana chala kise then is spray okay A an animal that is hunted or killed for food prey means shikar okay edge there's a word edge there okay you can see it all these words are here in the first paragraph they were now edge a d g e edge underline these this word also the outside area of an object or area means kisi uh, area ka jo bahar ka jo hissa hota hai ya koi ऐसा और किसी चीज की जो बाहर की जो साइड होती है यू कैन से उसकी लिमिट्स जो होती हैं दैट इज कॉल्ड एज ओके आउटसाइड पार्ट देन देर इज अ वर्ड इन डीड सी इट दिस इज इन दिस वर्ड हेयर इन डीड वेट या दिस अ वर्ड हिड हिड इज आल्सो देयर यस बिलो द एज यू कैन सी इन देर इज अ पैराग्राफ दिस वेन द फिश सो हिम दे हिड hid means put or keep out of sight means chhup jana okay then you have you have to go to the second last paragraph or say you can line is there yes indeed sir indeed without any question or truly matlab bagair kisi matlab kisi aap kisi se agree kare you have to agree to someone okay indeed okay yes indeed sir means they were agreeing with the green okay now keep looking at the screen here now see what what is in this story i have written most of the story here in this uh, uh, paragraphs most of the story i have told it here okay 
so what is the story here let me see wait wait a little bit okay see look at the red pointer and i'm reading the story okay once upon a time there was a willow tree by a certain lotus pond on it lived a spirit who watched the animals that lived in and around the pond and learned about life you see there was a spirit which was living in a willow tree and it saw the pond which was having so many lotus okay certain lotus were there and it watched the animals and learned about the life okay in dry season that small pond runs short of water but still there were a lot of fishes in it okay it was becoming dry that pond was becoming dry but still there were so many fishes in there one day a crane who was heartless and cruel also visited the pond and decided to outwit the fishes and eat them now outwit you know meaning of outwit being clever to take the advantage of something advantage means fayda uthana okay so it was heartless so it wanted to outwit the fishes and eat them you know by uh, clever tricks okay when he was thinking on how to outwit them now he was thinking that how to outwit them a fish which was hiding under the lotus leaf asked the crane that what was he thinking now you know the crane was thinking that what should he do how can he outwit the fish so he was just was thinking that and then the fish asked that what are you thinking now you know why the fish asked that what are you thinking because you know that the crane feeds on fishes so definitely the crane uh, the fishes were thinking that we are in danger okay the crane told it that he was thinking about them that how can they live in a pond that was getting dry and he must take them in his beak to another large pond covered with all kinds of lotuses and put them in it now he said that i'm very much worried about you that i want to i have a lot of care for you okay so i want you i want uh, you to go in that pond and because this lake is getting dry so you'll die one day and you know the fishes don't live without water so they will die one day so he thought that i want to take care of you so that's why i'm i want you to uh, i want you to shift you to another pond okay now come we'll read it on this page you know the meaning please keep the meaning is in your mind well i have told you the uh, meaning there so it is easy for us to read okay keep that in mind long ago come to page number 71 now long ago a wise spirit wise spirit means uh, the spirit was uh, clever or no not clever you can say but it was having knowledge lived in a willow tree that stood by a certain lotus pond it watched the creatures who lived in and around the pond and learned a lot about life now at that time the water in the pond used to run short at the dry season even though the pond was not over large it contained a good many fish a crane who was cruel and heartless visited one day he was hungry as he stood by the bank he saw the fish and thought i must outwit these fish somehow or other and make a prey of them and he went and sat down at the edge of the water thinking how he should do it when the fish saw him they hid under the lotus leaves and asked him what what are you sitting there for lost in thought i am sitting thinking about you said he oh sir what are you thinking about us they asked why he replied there is a very little water in this pond and but little for you to eat and the heat is so great so i was thinking what in the world will these fish do now yes indeed sir what are we to do they cried if you only do as if you will only do as i ask you 
I will take you in my beak to a fine large pond covered with all the kinds of lotuses and put you into it, answered the crane. Okay, till 72 we have done. Now we are on page number 73. Okay, these words you have to underline on page number 73. See, you can have this, see that there's a picture there on page number 73. Okay, unheard. This word is here on the second line. Okay, of the paragraph. Okay, unheard, see, here. Uh, unheard, not known to have happened before. Yani kabhi sona na ho. Okay. Then the next word is aiming. A I M I N G aiming. Okay. Leave one line and the word is aiming. Aiming means intend. Means intend to do something. Kisi cheez ka irada karna ya kuch karna irada rakna. Okay. Then the next word is here afloat. The believe is there. This word believe is here. See. It is on this uh, sec uh, second paragraph, second line, believe. Believe means to consider to be true. Matlab yakin rakna kisi pe, kisi ki sachai par, okay? Then there's a word afloat. Afloat is on the next paragraph, okay? Afloat. Last line of the next paragraph, third paragraph, afloat. A-F-L-O-A-T, afloat. Afloat means on the water, okay? And there's a word ashore. Ashore means to the shore. Okay, then come to page number 74. 74, there's a word glories, great beauty. Okay, bahut khubsurat. Okay, then there's a word alighted. Okay, on the next paragraph, second line, alighted. Alighted means to come down from something. Okay. Then there's a word fork here on the one leave one line on the next line is fork f o r k fork here, fork you know you have seen fork spoon and fork in this way there is a branch in the way of fork of the tree then there's a word struck struck is the past tense of strike okay hit by force okay then there's a word in the last page this uh, la page last line bite. Bite means use the teeth to cut through something. But here he it is considered as bite hold. See, bite hold of you with my beak. Means he said that I will strongly hold you by with my beak. Okay, what are what is the story on these pages? See, look on the screen here. The fish told the crane that he never heard that a crane helps a fish. Instead, it hunts or kills it for food. The crane asked the fishes to trust him by sending one of them with him. Okay. They trusted him by sending a, a, uh, one of their fellow who was large, blind of one eye, but can defend himself in case of any emergency. Now the crane said that, yeah, I know that I hunt and eat fish, but you know what you have to do you, since you will stay here and you will die. Okay, so instead of that, you should trust me right now because it's uh, for the sake of your life. So you should trust me and I will take you to another pond. And if you think that it is difficult for you to trust me, then send one of your fellow or friend with me. I will take him to that pond, show him that pond. And then uh, he will tell you what how that pond is. Then I will bring him back here and you will come to know. Okay. Let's see, the crane took the fish with him, showed the large pond and brought him back. They trusted him and allowed him to take all the fishes one by one in his beak to the pond. The crane took the old half blind fish first, landed on a willow tree next to the large pond, put that fish on the fork of the tree and then struck it with its beak to eat it. It threw its bones at the foot of the tree. See, although the fish trusted him, but still he killed that fish which he took. First, what he do? He trust. They trusted him. No, no, he did not kill immediately. What he do? The crane took that half blind old fish to that pond, showed that pond. Then he came. He brought him back to 
the uh, pond where the fishes was and that that pond was getting dry then that fish told him that yeah that's a very beautiful pond it's a very large pond and it is better we should shift there then when he told then he then again he took that crane took that large blind fish in his beak went to that pond landed into the village tree killed it and ate it now see how the crane outwit them he killed already their fish now that those fishes do, don't know that he has killed him and ate them so he told the other fishes okay now you now you believe me okay now i'm taking you to the other pond so one by one he took all the fishes and you know that other fishes which were in the dry pond jo dry pond mein jo fishes thi wo ye soch rahi thi ki ye jo hai hame wahan le ja raha hai jabki wahan le ja nahi raha tha wo usse kha raha tha aur khatam kar raha tha now you know you can there in one pond there were fishes were and the other pond the uh, they can't see the other pond what he is doing there that pond was far away from there so he can't see that what he was doing so he just blind killed, killed the fishes and eat them one by one then in the end it was see he then went back to the pond that was getting dry told all the fish fishes that he had taken him to the large pond safely and all the fishes trusted him but he killed and ate them one by one one crab was left behind the crab offered the crane offered his help to him but the crab was clever he asked the crane how can he carry him the crane told him that he would bite hold of them in his beak now you know that crab was you know he was called he was clever and he was careful about himself so he said that how can you take me because you can easily pick the fishes but how can you pick me because uh, of my shape and my body is big so he said no i will bite hold of you okay okay now come to page number 73 that a crane should take thought for the fishes is a thing unheard of sir since the world began it's eating us one after the other that you are aiming at not so long as you trust me i won't eat you but if you don't believe me that there is such a pond send one of you with me to go and see it then they trusted him and handed over to him one of their number a big fellow blind wo of one eye whom they thought sharp enough in any emergency afloat or ashore the crane took him and let him go in the pond he showed the fish the whole of it brought him back and let him go again close to the other fish and he told him them all the glories of the pond and when they heard that what he said they exclaimed all right sir you may take us with you then the crane took the old half blind fish first to the bank of the other pond and alighted in a willow tree growing on the bank there but he threw it on in into a fork of the tree struck it with his beak and killed it and then ate its fish and threw its bones away at the foot of the tree then he went back and called out i have thrown that fish in let another one come and in that manner he took all the fish one by one and ate them till he came back and found no more but there was still a crab left behind there and the crane thought he would eat him too and called out i is a good crab i have taken all the fish away and put them into a fine large pond come along i'll take you too but how will you take hold of me to carry me along i'll bite hold of you with my beak okay i am giving you some work you have to do that work okay copy it in your copy make the sentence by yourself i won't expect expect